Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Not Interesting Podcast. And this week would be our first episode, which is episode one. And I have a special guest from Japan, imported from Japan, a friend from Melbourne as well. Give a round of applause to Tai Chi. Hello everyone, I'm Tai Chi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, miss I think I, <laughs> the topic for this episode is what do you miss in Melbourne and what do you miss about Japan? Because mm. Tai Chi over here has been living with two countries. Mm. He was here in Melbourne when he was studying here, and now he's in Japan where he lives mm. now with his parents. Okay. So, what I miss in Melbourne at the moment is probably friends mm. in Melbourne, of course. Also, the city view there, it's pretty different from where I live. What can you say about the city view? What's the difference? Mm, it's... I really like um there's a river, Yara River along mm. the city. Yeah. And also um uh some beach is accessible from city, like mm-hmm. 30 minutes. Very close, yeah. Yeah. I like the location where um C V D is. Yeah. How about about when you said the rivers? Is it is it more beautiful, you say, here in Melbourne compared to Japan or nearer place? Um, I would say, I'll be honest, Yara River <laughs> is not that clean. Because <laughs> I remember but, going up like on, yeah. on textbook, like the cleanest rivers in the world is in Japan, they say. Like you can drink uh, or, you know, you can swim at it. Okay. It's really beautiful how the government in Japan really took okay. care of the maybe, rivers. Maybe not the river near my place. <laughs> it's probably in um, where there's mountains around. Mountains, yeah. Because they use those water for sake. Ah. It has to be very, very pure water. Pure water so, for good sake. Yeah. Those places in rural, especially rural place. Mm. As a beautiful river. So you mean like on cities, the rivers are not that good compared to the rivers near the mountain. The yeah. nearer, the nearer to the mountain, the more pure it is. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I see. I see. And uh, why I like the river, yes. Yara River, uh, yeah. is because you remember we went cycling, right? Oh. And I, one time I went cycling with my friends along Yara River and did a city loop. Yeah. And you see the beauty of Melbourne. Yeah. And the Yara River, like outside CBD, is, was good. I like mm-hmm. running along there, but not, not the one near CBD. <laughs> Yeah, I just I just also like to add on the river. I mean, if you're going to compare Japan's river to Melbourne, you said in your opinion, Melbourne is really good. But I think if I'm going to compare my country, me where I live in the mm. Philippines, mm. maybe I think Japan would be better. <laughs> would be better. Because the rivers are my city is completely trash i don't know why i think people oh. like there's trash can but they just mm. prefer i think to throw trash in the in the river mm. but some of the local governments in some other cities as well like do cleaning project mm. but it's it's still dirty and smelly <laughs> but it's improving it's improving but it mm. will take more years yeah, yeah. I mean, compared to Japan, man, you got you guys have uh, uh, law. It really depends on the way which river. Do you guys have law 
like um, securing cleanliness in the rivers in Japan? I think so. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's nice. Mm. And what else? What what else? What can you say about Melbourne that you miss? Mm. This can be said. This can be. Um, I'll, oh, I'll yeah, mention I heard, this later. Oh, what? I forgot to ask you about the the beaches here in. Oh. Um, I thought Japan has the one of the beautiful beach. Oh, I mean, in Asia. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I think Philippines is also has. I mean, beach, of right? course, you got yeah. like more than a thousand islands here. So mm. one island is a one beautiful beach. But I mean, compared to Melbourne. Here, here in Melbourne, the beach is sometimes rocky, they're mm, full of mm. rocks, but sometimes they're really dangerous because they don't have filter nets, so mm. sharks won't be, be, be going inside and, you know, kill people, especially in Australia, there's a lot of sharks. Yeah. But some beaches here are really, really beautiful, but it's really cold as well. That's the mm. difference. The water is cold yeah. in the ocean. How about you? How about in Japan? What can you say about the beaches? I think it's more safe because I think there's like a safety net, mm -hmm. like somewhere around, and yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I like the beach in Melbourne because because. Sorry, is there no lot of tourists in Japan or local people uh, going to the beaches or in your city? I think local people at the moment because of um COVID. Oh, I see. Not not many people travel around, mm -hmm. so yeah. Oh, I, see, I still see. yeah like like going to beach, and I like the one in Melbourne because it's accessible. That that's the Wait, do, you, do you need to pay for for people there to access the beach or is it as well free like here oh it's free but it's um far from my place ah oh, i see mm. how far i have to use how many minutes maybe more than an hour by by car or transportation uh, by train. By train. one hour yeah that's far. <laughs> That's really far. Yeah. <laughs> really far. Yeah, like here, like for my place, it's like 15 minutes if you're going to mm -hmm. bike mm -hmm. and you reach yeah, the yeah. South Melbourne Beach. <laughs> so, what else do you miss in Melbourne at the moment since you're living there in Japan? Mm -hmm. I would mention the same thing, but I'm explaining what I miss in Japan. What I miss about Japan, mm -hmm. um, it's food. <laughs> food. Yeah. Um, but, you said, but you told me those... before that mm -hmm. when we tried, because you and me, you know, in our vlog, in my vlog, yeah, yeah. we tried Japanese food and you said there's nothing closer to authentic Japanese like in Japan. <laughs> oh, yes. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I think I said there's nothing close. <laughs> in Japan, the Japanese food here, but in Japan, there is no um, such diverse, um, tasty food. Yeah, diverse <laughs> and tasty <laughs> food in Melbourne. Like oh. those Chinese food, those all Asian food, oh. European food, it's like everything. I oh, it's more foods. cultural, diverse. Yeah, know. yeah. You got a lot of choices in Melbourne compared in Japan. Mm. Oh. Especially, I miss. Four. Yeah, what's the most food that you miss? Uh, is it four? Four. four. Rice noodle. Oh, like yeah. the Thai food. Yeah. Is it Thai food or Vietnamese? I think oh, both. <laughs> it can be both, I guess. <laughs> rice noodles. Yeah, specifically rice noodles with soup. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's really good, man. Yeah. There's one near in my place around along St. Kilda. Mm. They got a huge amount of full, like for $15. Mm. This huge, man. Yeah. 
a lot of toppings and you know I only ate it half of it and I'm so full. Mm. Get it full, full makes you full. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, and so that's what you missed in in Melbourne. So four. What else besides yeah. four? Mm, what else? What else? Oh, speaking of food, what's the closest um, taste in Japan in Melbourne, in your opinion? You mean four? No. What's the closest thing that you ate? To Japan in Melbourne. Oh, the the restaurant I went to in Melbourne. Oh, uh, what's the name? Ah, uh, oh yeah, I forgot the the ramen. The little ramen one. Yeah, 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 that one. <laughs> yeah, ramen bar, yeah. Little in my ramen whole bar. life, that since you recommended, I've been eaten there twice. I yeah. think twice or thrice. Mm. Uh, I don't know, Mr. Robinson is still a heart. <laughs> you still have a space in my heart <laughs> because, mm-hmm. of course, it's you can't get any other restaurants with an unlimited noodles with a ramen. Man. But I tried one in Execution Street, Shujinko. Oh, yes, I heard, I heard yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that restaurant before. Uh, mm. it's one of I mean so far the most expensive mm. ramen I've tasted in Melbourne but it's definitely worth it it took it cost me around like 20, 25 bucks 25 dollars so mm. yeah it's, it's pretty expensive for ramen right mm. but yeah, when you is. buy their special ramen cut worth 25 dollars it's really worth it the amount of the serving is really a lot the, the bowl is really big Plus the toppings are really assorted and you know it's worth paying you twenty five dollars. But but yeah, I could agree with you with the most authentic I've ever tasted ramen in Japan, which is little ramen. It's really good. Yeah, but actually, um, since I came back here, mm-hmm. I went to um few ramen shop. I mean, a couple of that ramen shop, but. I don't know. Uh, I feel it's too oily <laughs> here. <laughs> it's too. I, you could see in the bubbles in your soup. Yeah, then. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's really hard for me to finish one bowl. Uh, when I'm uh, browsing YouTube, you know, when I get bored. I, I sometimes see videos like ramen stalls, like they just push it on a cart. Have you tried mm-hmm. those ones? No, I don't think so. Like I remember what on Tokyo, they just push the the cart, ramen cart, and people just line up and sit there. Oh, it's, I it's really satisfying. <laughs> I never heard that one. The, and they said in Japan. Yeah, Sorry? They, in, in Japan, they said the cheaper the ramen is, the better it is, I think. I mean, when it comes to street food, right? <laughs> depends, depends. Really, it really depends. depends. Yeah. Depends how yeah. long they boil their pork. Uh, it's like, it is um, famous from old days. Like, when you see a lot of taxi, mm-hmm. um parking in that ramen shop it's really good uh wow yeah so that's how you know in japan yeah because taxi drivers knows a lot of restaurants <laughs> and they go to a good restaurant <laughs> good restaurants with a value yeah. for money mm. where did okay yeah ah um so what what else what else do you miss in japan i mean melbourne so melbourne mm, 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 mm. Of course, you miss speaking in Japanese when you're here in Melbourne. You miss your talking in your... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else do you miss mm. in Melbourne? I don't know, maybe school, uni? Uni. <laughs> I, I... 
Speaking of school, what's the difference hmm. of the school that you've been in Japan and the school you've been here in Melbourne? Because mm. all I know, because yeah, because all I know, my reference would be anime. <laughs> uh, don't take that's too much I, from that. Yeah, that's how I see <laughs> Japanese school, man. Through anime, <laughs> like the uniforms, you know, and girls wearing, you know, uh, yeah, skirts yeah. and boys wearing this like uh, closed collared shirt. You know, that's and, um for high school. Oh, that's for high junior school. high. Yeah, but I cannot compare like a uh, secondary school in Australia and high school in Japan because I haven't been to both. Oh, about colleges but, in Japan. Yeah, but that's... I can, it'll, I can compare the uni mm -hmm. here in uh, and in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. I guess. Um. Japanese uni, they have more subjects. Here, more subjects here. Uh, no, in Japan. In Japan, yeah. which is more it's... harder. Mm, okay, <laughs> it's completely different, I guess, because what we say, Japanese say is, university is difficult to enter, but easy oh, to, yeah. um, Oh, to pass. <laughs> easy to pass. Uh, uh, yeah, easy to pass. <laughs> but I think it's different in no, maybe no. Australia or Western country. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Uh, it's not, it's difficult to um, enter yeah. and difficult to pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, not difficult. But yeah, even though, yeah, I don't know why. Japanese university has more subject than Australian uni because we only have four or maximum five, right? Five and maybe, years. yeah, and then two um, lecture and tutorial, mm -hmm. I guess. So maximum 10, wow. 10 class, Ten right? Minutes. Yeah. Wow. But in Japan, they have like, like 16 to 20 units a week. And like, I could feel the pain. <laughs> how? How? <laughs> how? How? Yeah, that's true. Like, yeah, how would you balance your lifestyle and study? Yeah. But the difference is like, if we drop a subject, it's really an issue in Australia. Mm -hmm especially if you're an international student. Mm. But in Japan, you don't have to pass everything. I mean, it's good if you pass everything, mm -hmm. but there's some gap to drop mm -hmm. a few subjects. And I think that's the difference, big difference between universities. What you mean is in Japan, like, it's okay, just do your best. Um, you just need, you have to, has like for example 100 subjects mm -hmm. during uni mm -hmm. yeah you just need to pass 100 subjects so for example if you do 20 subjects for a semester mm -hmm. you have two semesters a week so um 40 times 4 160 so you just mm -hmm. to pass like 100 or something uh so there's a like a requirement that you need to get. Mm. And if you get, you're safe. Yeah. That's nice. It's like building up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like and you just choose what you what what you like to. Mm -hmm. mm. That's, that's how about um environment? Like what's the difference when you go out here in your uh, the place you live here in Melbourne? When you go out, what's the difference? And when you go out in your house there in Japan? Mm, um, where I lived in Melbourne was pretty near to CBD. So mm. I can walk or just catch a tram mm -hmm. and move around. But here, 
where I live is a bit far from um, station. Mm -hmm. So it's really car dependent here. Mm. So I have to drive wherever, wherever I go. So that's pretty Speaking of tram, tram and transportation, which mm -hmm. do you like better? Mm. Um, tram is really convenient, mm -hmm. but I also like driving car, so mm -hmm. it's really hard to choose. But I mean, which do you like transport, public transportation in mm. Japan or in Australia? Oh, in Melbourne. Mm. If we if we're talking about um, how to say how uh, punctual mm -hmm. the tra train comes, then I would say Japan because they are extremely punct functional. Yeah, they're on time, right? They have, but, they need to yeah. obey the schedule. Be on time. But when we're saying if it's crowded or not, mm -hmm. maybe I'll choose the one in Melbourne. Oh, it's more crowded. I don't see like a squished trust, like tram or train in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? I don't know. I haven't seen it before yet. <laughs> but have you rode the train? You have rode the train, right? From Flinders Street. Mm. You oh, like that that is that that's that's um in Japan it's different level. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in morning and evening. Yeah. About let's talk about the cost of living as a student. What's the much which do you prefer, or which do you like better the cost of the cost of living, as an international student in Australia in Melbourne, or the cost of uh, the cost of living as a student, still an international student from Melbourne but living in Japan, which you just prefer and what's the difference? Cost, cost of living like as a student like. Your daily budget. Mm. Okay, uh, this one is. It's really um. The current is pretty different, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so of course the cost will be way lower if you live in Japan. Because, mm. mm. yeah, like like you said, ramen, for. For example, for example, fifteen, 15 dollars. Yeah. Yeah, fifteen bucks. That's that's too expensive in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like around ten dollars or less. Ten dollars in Japan, a good ramen. Yeah. Oh yeah, wow! Yeah. Like average ten dollars. And you said before when you're here in Melbourne, you told me like all the sushi places or all the sushi stalls in Melbourne are expensive compared to Japan. Yes. <laughs> so like the one. How do you say that one with the no, the rail one? Yeah, the How yeah the rail one, sushi? the one we did. Yeah, yeah, that one. I saw one. It's like three dollars per dish, or it depends on yeah, what color. That, that's unbelievable for <laughs> that quality <laughs> and uh, <laughs> for uh, the quality and the, that that um type of sushi sushi yeah. so the quality yeah. and the type of sushi yes yeah. there is some three dollar plate here but it the the plate is more presentable um, fish. yeah quality. more more um expensive fish mm -hmm. so yeah it's <laughs> it's it's one dollar in japan one one point two or somewhere around. Oh, one see. Plate. Yeah. But that's just currency, I think. Yeah. Do you miss do you miss the noises 
at home, like in Melbourne, of course, when you're living in Melbourne, especially near the city, you could hear the trams, the noise of the tram, you know. Do you miss it? And the noise I of the cars. So. <laughs> I don't think so, but like when I came back here, so my place is pretty um, silent at nighttime. I couldn't sleep because it was too silent. It was too silent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, because you're used to the noise of the city. Yeah, yeah. Wait, how how quiet is how quiet it is there? Like you could hear like, you know, when it's so silent, you could be deaf because of the silence. Yeah. That's how silent yeah. it is. No, how or you can hear the heartbeat. It? Yes, I can hear the heartbeat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Now I got I got used to it in a quiet place, but the time when I came back, I couldn't sleep. Like, how many days did it took you? How many nights did it took you for you to adapt? I don't know. Maybe a month or two. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> too quiet. <laughs> and 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 when you're going to go back to Melbourne, you're yeah, used to being quiet. <laughs> you can't sleep now because you're used to being quiet. Yeah. Oh, how about how about the temperature? Which do you like more? Um, the weather? Hmm. Um, Melbourne was pretty dry. Oh yeah. Mm, but I, agree. I can agree with you. Here is more um how to say moist. Um yeah, moist. Mm -hmm. Especially, we have um, a lot of typhoon coming. Oh, I see. I think yeah. You're familiar. Yeah, in the Philippines, it will go. It will go first in the Philippines. Mm. Then, then it will go up to Japan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Actually, last night there was typhoon um, going through Japan. So. Is it scary where there's typhoon there? You could hear the wind, strong wind. No. It's Sorry. um earthquake is more scary. <laughs> oh, people are more scared of earthquakes in Japan than typhoon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. So people there are more prepared in earthquakes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like we have a lot of um stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In case. Yeah. Which um, so which food have you stopped? Um, that one. Um, soup. Instant noodle. Instant noodles. Ah, yeah. cup noodles. Speaking of cup noodles, uh, the holy grail of Japan, or one of the holy grail of Japan, missing cup noodles. Mm -hmm. So expensive here. Speaking of cup noodles, I bought like five dollars in a Japanese supermarket. Oh, anyway, wait. Do you remember the one when we went to Josh place with the KFC and we we saw the Japanese supermarket there? Remember mm. that? Yeah, 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 yeah. In Praran? Mm. I went there and there where I bought the Nissan's like five dollars. But it was really good. It's kind of expensive. <laughs> it was the name Cup Noodle. Yeah, no, yeah, oh, Nissan yeah. Cup Noodle 50th anniversary. Mm. Doesn't matter. I can I cannot understand what it says because it's in Japanese characters, but I know it's Nissan Cup Noodles. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think that's the. I think you got the, the the standard one, I guess. The standard, of course, the OG, mm -hmm. the OG. What's your favorite cup noodles there, if you're in Japan? <sighs> um, I guess. Um, there's one flavor, of cup noodle. Mm -hmm. uh, which is curry. Oh, I've tried that. It's really good. Yeah, curry flavor. I pretty like that one. What's your favorite cup noodles? Wait, Sorry? so you tell that's your favorite cup noodles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were telling me before when I told you that I bought this cup noodles, you said it's pretty expensive compared to there. Mm. How much was? Um. So that one... The basic cup noodle will be 1.5. Mm 
That's in 7-Eleven. That's oh, in a convenience wait. store. Convenience store is a bit expensive. Of course. Um, so we often go to Groceries. supermarket. Yeah, groceries. And you get $1.5. Mm, yeah. Oh, that's mm. really good. Mm. Which is colder when it's winter? You know, Melbourne is has really strong wind, right? Yes, very cold. Wind. Even though the temperature is not that low, the wind mm. makes you more uh, colder. makes it yeah colder. Uh, it really depends in where in Japan, but I think I feel in like Melbourne. In my place, um, wait, actually, no, Japan is more colder. <laughs> <laughs> wait, how cold does it get there? Two um, or negative? Well, my place is not the, the coldest place, like Hokkaido. Mm -hmm. So, but it still gets under zero degrees. Zero? Yeah. Wow. Do you have a heater at home? Mm, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like in your place, I remember when I visited your place, you don't have a heater, or did you have a heater? No, I didn't have. Because <laughs> we were living in an uh, apartment, yeah. and mostly apartment is warm. Mm -hmm. but, but which is warmer? Is it, your place yeah. or your place here? Um. The, the place I lived in Melbourne because that mm. apartment is built by concrete, right? Wow, oh, yeah, it's more. But long. this, my parents' house is made, the basic is wood, mm. timber, wood. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, it's colder in winter. Well, that's why most houses in Japan have um, heater. Mm. Mm. Does it snow there during winter? Snow? Snow? No, uh, mm, sometimes, once in a few years. In, in on mountains, right? Mm. Oh. Do you go outside when it's snowing, or you just stay at home? Stay at home. <laughs> like here in in winter, you you tend to go outside and eat ramen, right? Mm. Here in Melbourne. Yeah, because you, you live in city, I guess, so that's the advantage. Mm. Mm. So, um, thank you again for participating and guesting to my first episode in the podcast. And again, guys, this is a not interesting podcast. I, I, am, mm. I thank you for listening, even though it's not interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. See you guys and hope you tune in to our next episode two into our Not Interesting podcast. See you guys and have a good weekend and weekdays. See you. And see you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.